It took a couple more months, but the doctors finally did allow him to be taken off life support. And what a brutal way he went. Brutal? Brutal. Think about it. Is it really any different than what the Germans did? Nazi Germany. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm? You want me to print that? Print what you want. Well, we're talking about hospitals, well, not Nazis. They do the same not... thing, starving people to death. They cut off their feeding and their water and they let them die. And it's all legal. The United States Supreme Court has validated the Nazi method of execution. <laughs> Excuse me. You, you obviously don't approve of the, the current method. No, I don't. Do you? Starving people to death? No, I don't think so. It's inhumane. If a person's allowed to die, then you inject them painlessly, quickly. You don't let them wither away. It's inconceivable. It's unspeakable. Well, what would you charge for this procedure? You don't charge people for something like this, Mr. Lessonbury. What's wrong with you? Doctor, let me be frank. Are you aware that people think you are a ghoul? It's emotionalism. Um, you know, when, when heart transplants first started, there was the same prevalent feeling, I mean, even among doctors, that it was wrong. It was uh, contrary to God's will, contrary to nature. Isn't it ghoulish to uh, rip a person's chest open and, and take out a heart or, or, um, or a bypass operation? Ether is the same thing. You have ether. Been around for centuries. It wasn't used. Not till 1846. It was discovered in 1543, and before that, everybody was uh, being operated on while they were awake. Surgeons were cutting them open while they were awake. Did you know that, Jeff? No. Oh, yes. And you know why it was banned? Because of religious dogma. Because of the foolish notion that there's a God Almighty who wills us to suffer. Do you turn patients down? I turn... 97 and 98 percent of the patients who contact me, I turn them down. Should there be second opinions? Always a second opinion. Third opinion. But there wasn't in your case? Well, no, there wasn't, because no one cooperates with me. What do you say to people who say, Dr. Kevorkian, you are playing God? I say to them, so what? <laughs> when a doctor gives you a pill, he's playing God, because he's interfering with your natural process. All doctors believe they're God. They shouldn't, but they do. But I prefer that than, than the doctors who are more interested in their stock portfolios than they are in their patients. Oh my gosh. These are my new daily visitors. Life is our choice. Are you going to kill every single person in a wheelchair? Disabled people are not worthless. They are not a drain on society. You cannot rid the world of inconvenience. You are worse than an abortionist. Oh, shut up, you witch. These are not comparable issues. Some great minds have died with the assistance of their doctors. Sigmund Freud, King George. If it's good enough for the Aristoi, it's good enough for the Hoi Polloi. He is leading society into an age of enlightenment, you idiots! Only God can create and destroy. Have you no religion? Have you no God? Oh, I do, lady. I have a religion. His name is Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach. And at least my God isn't an invented one. <laughs> <laughs>